Hi everyone, our journal page and I'm working in this journal that I've bound some papers from all kinds of paper pads and also a canvas pad. So I'm working on canvas but I've already uh, glued uh, down one of the papers I've done uh, with the, the technique I've showed you in s several videos ago how to make painty papers by just uh, scraping either crayons or oil pastels on all kinds of papers on top of a stencil and so this is one of them and here is another example this is just deli paper the stencil was underneath and I just scraped a oil pastel on top and that's what I got now uh, when I've done this uh, art journal and started working on it I realized I don't like to work on canvas and so that's why I've glued down this uh, kind of paper I will put a link below if you missed the video how to make this kind of painty papers I will uh, put the link below so this is how I started it just glued the deli paper to the canvas that I have uh, underneath and now I want to start adding some a uh, color I'm going to use uh, some watercolors this is pelican I've got it like three decades don't know if they are still making this and of course it doesn't have to be watercolors you can use sprays the most a uh, the thing is to just use um, paints that are uh, water-based and translucent because the oil pastel makes a resist and that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see it will uh, it gets into where the oil pastel is, isn't on the paper and I'm going to just play with the colors I'm not really a I don't really a care I'm only a putting a, the dark purple here in the corner and but mostly I'm thinking of going with blue colors all over so I'm just mixing don't care where it goes of course with the sprays it would have a uh, taken less time but i didn't want the spray to go all over i wanted splotches of color and all kinds of blues in the back so that's why i picked the watercolors otherwise if you want to spray everything just go for it I'm also letting all this uh, blend together I don't want a complete solid color I want variation and that's why I'm alternating between the colors and also letting them blend so I will have more interest. Maybe I will even add some uh, magenta or caramine, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just playing I want my edges to be darker but basically uh, this is it and I'm just adding until I'm satisfied with what's going on if I think it's too pale and uh, I'm just adding more color more paint and 
and now I'm going back to the purple just again to add some variation even when you don't do a solid color and you use all kinds of the same color like the blue I've done here it's always good to add something that uh, not completely from the family like the purple and it just gives you more interest and depth to your background best ex explanation <laughs> I can give okay now I'm satisfied this needs to be to dry completely before I'm doing anything else to it so just cleaned my brush and I'm putting it aside and I'm putting this aside and now I'm moving on to my whatever is going to be a focal point and I'm not completely sure about it but I'm going to try I've got this uh, I don't know what to call them if it's lace or crochet whatever it's um, obviously machine made and I hate this color but I'm going to cover this so I think I will only use three this is a uh, from the cheap store and first of all I'm going with any lace crochet whatever you don't like the color just cover it with gesso just add a little bit uh, if your gesso is uh, really thick just add uh, a little bit of water so I'm putting a little bit here of the gesso and some water and I'm going to just cover these pieces with the gesso I'm pushing it inside so it will get everywhere my gesso is kind of thick and if you have a dark color underneath and not like here that I have this uh, light pink then you will probably need uh, two or three quotes until it's covered now the gesso is uh, also not only to cover the the pink it's also a good base for whatever paint I will uh, use because it's a primer and also it gives a, a more it turns this stuff a uh, stiffer <laughs> I don't know if it's a word <laughs> It will be uh, more stiff that's the only thing I can say about it so it would be easier to work with uh, now this is doesn't give me problem but when you are uh, using um, trim laces they uh, come into fray and then it really is uh, better to put the gesso and so it won't fray and it would be e easier to handle so I'm going to continue doing this covering everything with the gesso and then I really need for it to dry before I apply any kind of paint so I'll be back I'm back decided not to wait for the gesso to dry I'm just going ahead and going to put some paint I've got this turquoise and once again I'm taking a brush with with water again I don't want either the gesso or the acrylic paint to clog all the details I've got here so again and you also I can if you have all kinds of sprays you can spray it I'm just using acrylic paint and trying to get into all the details without clogging it so
and I decided not to wait for the gesso to dry. I figured it will uh, just mix with the acrylic paint and it will just mix and I will have a variation in the color and I don't care. So just going about this and now I will need for this to dry because I want to pick all this texture with some gold and when it's dry I will show you how I'm doing it so I think everything is covered and I'm just going to let this dry and I'll come back I'm back with the background I really like what's going on but I still want to work on it and I want it a little bit more dramatic I have this Stabilo all-purpose uh, pencil and I have this just so I want a uh, so it would be different from other pencils I have like the 10b 12b and that's it that's why I have this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going in in several places in between the pattern of these circles and I'm adding uh, this black and my my paper that is glued down is a little bit still a little bit uh, wet so it's a little bit difficult and I know uh, sometimes I have no patience at all so I'm just continuing and of course I I'm going to activate this with water I'm not uh, trying to be precise I'm just adding uh, this black in hopes that it would be uh, more dramatic I don't know and less flat so just so you will see what I'm talking about so I've got the black and let's pick some brush and what I'm going to do is activate each area like this again not trying to be precise just so it will smear of course you can use a if you've got watercolor pencils you can try that anything that reacts with water when I didn't have the old Stabilo pencil and I didn't have anything like it what I've done is take a black eyeliner pencil and that's what I've used to create the same smearing black effect so and the areas that are wet I can also go in again with the pencil when it's still wet just so as I said it would be more dramatic and I don't know more distressed I'm not I want this to I don't want it to look perfect so that's what I'm doing I'm going to continue all over and now that I'm looking at it I think that maybe I will also go inside each circle like this and again just activate it with the water like so so I've got my work cut out for me I have to go all over and do this so I'll be back okay so background finished I'm loving it and I've got the three stars here and some acrylic gold paint and what I'm going to do is just take this brush and take a little bit of the gold and 
just do something like this so I will have less on my brush and it would be like dry brushing now I'm not sure yet about the color but I'm going to try it and just uh, doing so adding this gold and I I will probably need two coats again it needs to dry and another coat so the gold would be shown another way is if you've got uh, this kind of rub and buff or a metallic a gold wax it's another way to go about it but this is expensive got this <laughs> in one of my vacation when i was i think it was in vienna and boy howdy this was expensive so if you're using something like this take it on your finger and just rub on top of whatever texture you have like this so I'm going to continue dry brushing until I'm satisfied although as I said I'm not completely sure about the color I uh, will see as I go how it looks and how it would look on my page maybe I will change color that's the great thing about it if it doesn't feel right you can always cover it and start over and I can gesso it again and just cover with another color so I'm going to continue this right now it looks more green than any gold accent but I hope it would look better when I'm finished so I'll be back okay i'm back and i didn't like the color so i just covered everything with dark blue and now i've got some yellow here and i'm going to attempt to make it something more nice no gold accent just yellow and we'll see so once again i'm just taking a little bit on the brush and gently going over and I hope that now it will work and it will look nice on my page once again probably would we'll need another coat because I've got dark color underneath It would probably it would go better with um, heavy duty acrylic paint, but I don't have yellow in something like that. I just have this, the the runny ones. So that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, this that's what I'm going to do to the other two, and I found an something more from the cheap store and like this that I'm planning on adding here I just colored it with the same yellow so I'm going to do the same thing to the two other stars and then I'll come back okay so finished <laughs> and everything is glued in place and I still want to work on the stars and i remembered i had this cream color acrylic paint a heavy duty and i mean the ones that almost look like paste so again i'm taking a little bit on my brush and i just brush the texture in several places don't know how much of it you can see but it does lighten up and gives more definition now i'm not going all over the stars only on the outside like so and i'm really 
trying to be gentle so I won't cover and do too much. Probably should have done it before I stuck it to my page, but whatever. It's just an art journal and I'm having fun, which that's the most important thing. Okay, now it's starting really to look good to me. Yeah. Maybe a little bit here. Yeah, this is it. I'm finished. <laughs> so that's my page and I really wish you could have you could see the gold accents in the back from just the plain deli paper that I scrubbed on top of a stencil. It, maybe when I'm tilting it you can see it. So this is it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.